watching it come out of the ground is beaten all expectations and it'll be, you know, it's going to be the most exciting ride in the world. It's without doubt the, the most complex thing we've ever tackled and the most complex technology we've ever seen on site. The first thing in our focus is it has to be safe. So we've got umpteen levels of backup systems in place on the train, on the track, within the control system, within the sensors. Everything is, is duplicated and repeated multiply so we've got absolute control over safety. Well, it's our biggest investment ever in uh, 121 years. You know, it's a big ride on a world stage. We'll tease you first of all, because we like to tease people. We'll, we'll row you out the station, stop you, and when you're least expecting it, then we'll launch you. Uh, and that's acceleration that's sort of akin to a Formula One car. You'll take, go to about, around about 75 kilometers an hour at the end of launch one. And when you come back into launch two, we boost you again from already carrying some speed up to 85 kilometers an hour. Again, the same levels of acceleration. The highest drop's about 80 feet. In, in sort of old money. There's one zero G roll, um, but you'll feel like you're rolling over on a number of occasions, but you're actually not. You're not sitting sort of cocooned within a car or a train. You're sitting pretty much on top with your, your arms free, your legs free. Um, it's a very, very open seating position and you'll feel very much a part of the whole experience. It's over three years now we've been actively involved in the, the very detailed planning of this ride. So it, it's, it's kind of getting towards the end of that now and it's getting really exciting.